Hello again. I just wanted to, um, it's not really anything to do with radio. Well, it's not anything to do with radio at all. I'm just, um, thinking of, uh, blackouts. Lack of electrical cooking, electrical heating. Just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've been researching. And some are very, very simple for cooking heat or even a candle. And that's vegetable oil. Used vegetable oil or unused vegetable oil. So what I've done here in an old jar, or it could be an old can, is put some vegetable oil in it. This is used. Fold it up some cardboard for a wick. Like so, or anyhow. And dropped it in there. Poured some oil over the edges. So it's all basically saturated with oil. And cardboard is a wick. It can be in an old baked bean can if you like, but this one's in a jar. I've tested a baked bean can and it has burnt for about six to eight hours. So as you know, or may not, vegetable oil will not burn very easily. But we'll come back to that in a minute and, and it'll be a good light. That'll just keep burning now for probably eight hours this one. Now that's a good for a light. Now what I've also done for heating, you could uh, if you did it out of a baked bean can, so if you did this one out of a baked bean can you can just cut some grooves in it. Here's one I did earlier, hang on a moment. out of a coke can. Um, that way you can pop a pan on the top and the flames still come out the side and it doesn't smother the flames. This was just done with a rolled up piece of paper. I'll show you how to do that shortly. So it does give out a bit of uh, smoke so you may not want it inside. Put that one out for now. It's a good thing with a jam jar, um, you can just put the lid on and it go out. So this is another one. Now if you wanted for heat, if you've got an old log burner or coal burner, this one's about the same size, this tray is about the same size as our burner inside. So wicks I've just made out of cardboard. Bent them around to stop them falling over, and you'd put the oil in first. The other option, if you haven't got any cardboard, paper, folded it up, folded it up, and then we can roll it up a bit. And that can go in there, and that is another wick. The more wicks you've got, the quicker the oil will burn the more flame you'll have. So the oil in this pan could be about an inch thick. Um, I've done one in a smaller pan, about half an inch thick, and that has burned for over an hour. But as I say, I'm going to test this one. Um, this one fits in our log burner just right. <coughs> This could be a bit deeper, but you'd put the oil in first, then you'd dunk these in, and then you'd coat you know, with a spoon, pour some oil over the edges, and it will burn fairly easy. This one, let's say it's about an inch thick, with lots of wicks, that would give out a fair bit of heat. I would put that in my log burner, 
and that will warm, might warm the room up a bit. Low today, it's been going only about a couple of minutes. But we can keep topping the oil up, and that oil will just keep burning. If it was about an inch thick, I think it'd probably go for a good two hours. There's a lot of wick in there, so it's using a lot of oil, but that will create more heat. And if we shut the door, it'll roar a bit more after, after a while, creating more heat, but it will burn fuel quicker. That will warm up to probably about 200 degrees centigrade, depending on how much wick you've got in there, how much fuel you're burning at the same time. That uh, baking tray fits in there quite nicely, and there's a fair bit of heat coming out at me now, so it would room room the, room the warm up, warm the room up quite well. Okay, back to the main video. Burning away nicely, with the door slightly ajar. A lot of the heat will go out the window, so but there would be a fair bit of heat off of that. Not the window, but the chimney. There would be a fair bit of heat off of this with all the wicks. You could reduce the heat by putting less wicks in, but then this would last much longer as well because it's that much deeper. And you can just pour a bit more in after half an hour and keep topping it up. So it's a very simple, easy um, candle, cooker, heater. Very, very simple. Can't go wrong with it really. As long as you've got enough vegetable oil. And they throw that stuff out. So if you get a few litres of vegetable oil, or a few gallons, or a few hundred gallons, You'll never be without heat, light or cooking fuel again. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.